Here's a good one. Two turtles, right, walking. <laughs> Turtle walking through the woods. You'll love it. Two snails. Turtle jumps on the snail's back, beats shit out of it. Old Bill come along, right, you're all nicked, in court tomorrow morning. <laughs> Judge turns around to the snails and says, well, come on, what happened? They said, I don't know, it's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> terrible game. <laughs> I see the compere looking at me going, how the fuck did he get away with this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> True story, true story. When I was young, you know, I was politically orientated, you know, everything. And I'm an Englishman. Actually, I'm not. I'm Welsh. I was born in a coal mine. I was. Underground humour. <laughs> anyway, very politically orientated. And I knew, you know, because I read a lot of books about politics, you know what I'm saying? I read a lot of books, and I, I, I knew that revolution, I was really involved in revolution, you know what I mean? It was, like, very dear to my heart. I was a young man, you know, and all the rest of it. And, I knew that revolution always takes place out in the countryside. You understand what I'm saying? Not in the cities, you know what I mean? It's all in your history books, man. China, Chile, you know, all these places. You have a look where there's been revolution, it's always out in the countryside, not, not the industrial landscape. It's out there with the beetroots. That's where it all starts. <laughs> Toll puddle martyrs, you know what I mean? It all came from there. The Luddites, everything was out there. So I went to look, you know, I went to look for the revolution. And I went down to Dorset. You've never been to Dorset, you've never been there. Eh? Ho oh, ho. Oh. Well, it wasn't there. So I came back into London and I got on one of them coaches to take me out into the countryside. I went out into Hertfordshire. This is a true story, this, to look for the revolution. And I'm on the, on the little coach going out into the nice landy, green, lovely Churchill sing songs of the cliffs of Dover, nicey country. And I'm out there, and eventually, we stop at a village. And I got off. Well, I didn't go off. I alight. You alight from the coach. <laughs> out in the countryside, you alight. And I got off the coach, and I'm walking through the village, looking, always alert, looking for the revolution, some signal that it was all going to go off. And I passed this pub called the Giggling Marxist, right? <laughs> And it was empty. There's nobody in there. So I've given that a wide berth, and I've gone through the ville, and I'm out in the countryside with all the nice, windy, nicey laney. You know the windy, nice. <laughs> but you know the little white lines in the middle? And silly me, silly, but I'm trying to snort them up. <laughs> and silly, do you know what I mean? You get out there and you take your city ways with you, you know what I mean? And I'm out there for about half an hour, soaking it all up, man. Nice, soaking up at everything. And I saw, the greatest, most moving thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw a load of horses without policemen on them. <laughs> and, and I'm looking, this is, listen to me, listen. Concentrate, man. I'm looking at this and I thought, yeah, there's something happening out here. There's a vibe out here. And then I've seen, I've seen the terrorists, the gorillas, man. They're marching about the fields. This is the God's honest truth, man. And, they, you know, they're out on gunshot practicing. You know what I mean? Ready for the revolution. And they've got shotguns out in a country like you won't believe, man. They've got extra bits welded on the end. <laughs> Great long barrels. <laughs> and it's the God's honest Anything that moves, shoot it. <laughs> Brilliant. Training up. And the dogs. You've never seen dogs like it, Giza, ever. Great big black and white Dalmatians, man. <laughs> With washing up gloves behind their back legs. <laughs> and they're all hunting in packs. <laughs> and the weird thing is they're talking in code. They go, mmm, mmm. <laughs> it's out there. It's out there. And I'm walking, I'm walking down this lane and my mind is buzzing. It's like 2E on a Saturday night, this. It's all gone wrong. Too much information. And I'm laying down in this ditch trying to recover, you know what I mean? Get my senses back together again. And suddenly I'm aware of this great big yellow eye looking at me. It's the sun. <laughs> and it's set on this deep blue azure backcloth. The sky. 
and there's little balls of fluffy stuff <laughs> running the clouds. And then this aeroplane flies over and it's a jumbo jet. <laughs> and I knew it was a jumbo jet because there was all these cracks on the wings. <laughs> And being a comedian, I'm just vibe myself up there. And I'm in the aeroplane, in the cockpit. I'm just there, sat there. And there's the pilot, man. Do you know what I mean? Big house, big money, big job, big aeroplane, great big knob. <laughs> Biggest knob I've ever seen. It's like a Vim tin with a tangerine on top. It's massive. <laughs> massive, man. And listen to me, he's got it out. He's just whacked it out, man. He's whacked it out and a chief. Chief air stewardess, this is a god's honest super. She's down on him. And just as the geezer's about to come, I'm out of the plane, and I'm back at public school. And I went to public school, and I'm in the headmaster's study. And it's all book-lined and full of history and knowledge and information. And the fellows have got it right. You haven't. They've got it right. Big that cellulite belly bastard headmaster stood there like that. There's a knock on the door. I'm in. Smoking, Willie Allen. Yes, Bend over. <laughs> Slowly, slower, slower, slower. Bent over. <laughs> and he's got the school plimsoll, ye olde schooly plimsoll, <laughs> with a white chalk mark on it. And he's 18 stone of pure landed gentry bastard. <laughs> he's just about to bring it all right on my little pink cheeks. 